The Russian MiG-35 fighter jet has often been highlighted as a highly capable aircraft, promising a wide range of advanced features. However, despite the impressive specifications on paper, the MiG-35 has proven to be underwhelming in real-world situations. Analysts, such as Maya Carlin from the Center for Security Policy, have pointed out that the MiG-35 is a complete failure and that no matter what the Kremlin may claim, the actual capabilities of the Mikoyan MiG-35 have proven to be unattainable. The MiG-35 is a multi-role fighter designed for various combat tasks, including air superiority, ground strikes, and reconnaissance. It is equipped with advanced avionics systems, including an active phased array radar AESA and an infrared search and track IRST system, which are meant to enhance its ability to track and engage both airborne and ground targets. Additionally, the MiG-35 features a combined weapons management system, allowing it to carry a wide range of munitions, including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. It also has nine hardpoints for carrying payloads, which grants it flexibility in combat operations. On paper, these features sound impressive, but the aircraft has yet to demonstrate its true potential in actual combat, which raises concerns for potential buyers. Despite its advanced technology, the MiG-35 lacks combat experience, which is a crucial factor in its underperformance on the international market. As Carlin notes, despite possessing enhanced engines and an AESA radar, the MiG-35 has failed to secure buyers, falling behind global competitors like the F-16 and Rafale. In contrast, the F-16 has decades of combat experience and is widely used across the globe, providing confidence in its capabilities. The Rafale, another key competitor, offers a versatile multi-role platform with a proven operational record. These aircraft have been tested in numerous conflicts, earning the trust of military forces worldwide, unlike the MiG-35 which has not had the chance to prove itself in real combat conditions. The MiG-35's lack of success in international markets also ties into broader geopolitical and economic issues. Russia, despite its efforts to promote the MiG-35 has struggled to compete on the global arms market due to economic limitations and the strain of its ongoing conflict in Ukraine. As Carlin adds, as Russia focuses on its prolonged conflict in Ukraine, Limited resources and dwindling military assets further restrict the production of the MiG-35, making its widespread deployment and export unlikely. This has forced Russia to divert substantial portions of its military resources to sustain its war efforts, leaving little capacity to invest in the mass production and export of the MiG-35. Moreover, the MiG-35's high cost has made it less appealing to potential buyers, particularly when compared to other fighters in the same class. Countries such as India, Egypt, and Argentina have shown interest in acquiring the MiG-35 but the deals have faced significant hurdles despite the aircraft's advanced capabilities. The high price, combined with a lack of proven operational performance, has made it a hard sell. As Carlin points out, the MiG-35's high price tag and limited operational history have played a crucial role in its underdeveloped export market. In contrast, the F-16 has a much longer track record of success, which has made it an attractive and cost-effective choice for numerous countries. Another challenge facing the MiG-35 is the ongoing sanctions on Russia, which have severely restricted its access to the components and technology required for producing advanced military aircraft. The sanctions have made it difficult for Russia to keep up with Western competitors, particularly the United States and France, who have access to modern technologies and better production capabilities. The MiG-35's technological ambitions are undermined by Russia's economic constraints, which limit its ability to produce and export cutting-edge fighter jets. Although the MiG-35 offers modern avionics and the potential for integration with other Russian military platforms, it still lags behind in crucial areas such as combat experience and global reputation. The MiG-35's competitors, such as the F-16 and Rafale, are battle-tested and have earned global trust, whereas the MiG-35 remains an unproven aircraft with limited appeal. Its technological sophistication is not enough to outweigh its lack of combat history and the economic limitations facing Russia. Despite Russia's claims of the MiG-35 being exceptionally powerful and capable, the reality is that Russia simply does not have the resources for full-scale export, Carlin concludes. Instead, the country has had to focus its limited resources on equipment and technologies needed to sustain its army rather than marketing military platforms that have not been tested in real combat. 
Looking ahead, it seems that Russia is focusing on more advanced fighters, such as the Su-35 and Su-57 which offer superior performance and have more significant prospects for global sales. The Su-35 for instance, is a higher-end aircraft with better maneuverability and performance, making it a more viable option for both domestic and international markets. As a result, the MiG-35 has taken a backseat in Russia's military aviation priorities, with the country choosing to allocate resources to newer platforms that can better meet its defense needs. As Carlin points out, Russia doesn't have an immediate need for a large number of new multi-role fighters due to the availability of older MiG-29s and Su-27s, which can still perform many of the combat tasks required. Instead of investing heavily in the production of the MiG-35 Russia has opted to maintain and modernize its older platforms, which is a more cost-effective solution in the short term. In conclusion, while the MiG-35 may look impressive on paper with its advanced technology and capabilities, it falls short in real-world application. The combination of high costs, a lack of combat experience, and economic and geopolitical challenges has led to its failure in gaining traction on the global market. Russia's decision to focus on more advanced and proven platforms like the Su-35 and Su-57 is a clear indication that the MiG-35 is not a priority for the country's aviation industry. The MiG-35 may indeed end up being another example of an ambitious but ultimately unsuccessful Russian military project.